Our first take draft blitz rolls on with the Broncos, who turn heads, acquiring Russell Wilson from the Seahawks for three players and five picks, including the ninth pick in this year's draft. They no longer have a first-round selection, but are set at quarterback after years of instability at that position. Denver's top five-rated defense last year got better, too, adding defensive tackle DJ Jones, Lewis Riddick, Damian Woody are back. Hello, hello, gentlemen. Lou, you're up first. The AFC West loaded, but not every team's going to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So which team in this division is least likely to make the postseason? I, I will say it is Denver, although that doesn't change the expectations that people are going to have of this football team, given what they gave up to get Russell and how Russell basically orchestrated his exit out of Seattle and to Denver. So, But I still think that this team, because of the fact that this division is so stacked, because of the fact that Derek Carr is someone who has the familiarity with his locker room, with his teammates, with his number one wide receiver who they brought over from Green Bay and Devontae Adams, I think they will make it. They will make a run at the division title. I think Justin Herbert will take his game to a whole new level in, in, uh, in L.A. with the Chargers. And I think he brings, they, all of his primary weapons are back. And so, and I think Kansas City, look, they have the best offensive line by far of anyone in the division, by far. And they, will, and they are armed with nothing but a plethora of draft picks, two of them in the first round at the bottom half of the first round. So they're going to get more wide receivers, along with Marquez Valdez-Scanling and Juju Smith-Schuster, who they already have in order to replace and kind of help, you know, mitigate a little bit of the loss that they're going to feel from Tyreek Hill not being there anymore. So, look, I think that leads Denver as the odd team out. But again, let me, let me couch that by saying this. The expectation is that this team, at the very least, gets a wild card spot. At the very least. But I just don't, I, I think if, you, if you're going to force me to pick, that that would be the one that I think would be on the outside looking in in that scenario. Yeah, woo, Lewis, this, this, this is a tough one. I went with the Las Vegas Raiders. And, uh, you know, listen. Derek Carr, what he, what he went through last year with the coaching change and then obviously, you know, uh, Henry Ruggs III and, and being able to navigate that team to the postseason. I mean, I gained a whole new level of respect for David Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. But also, here's what I want to point out about the, this, Raiders, this Raiders team. In the Derek Carr era, they've had the worst scoring defense in the National Football League. 32nd in the league since Derek Carr has been the starting quarterback for the Las Vegas, Vegas Raiders. And I, I look at this, this defense. Patrick Graham comes over as the, as the new defensive coordinator from, the, from Molly, from New York, your New York football giants. Yep. And I think he's got to find a way to navigate this defense. They added Chandler Jones opposite Max Crosby. If they can get this defense up to par with all the, those teams in the, in the AFC West, they have a shot. But I'm going to say of all the teams in the AFC West right now, I'm going to say the Las Vegas, Ra Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, for Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.